Hello doctors, I welcome you all to this wonderful platform of CAT and Aspirants. So in today's video, I will be discussing the West Bengal NEET PG 2025 round 1 counselling cut-off data for all government medical colleges in West Bengal. And we'll go through the complete cut-off data of all PG medical seats including MD, MS and PG diploma seats across every branches and every category. And besides that, I will also compare this year's round 1 cut-off data with previous years so that you get a clear understanding of the trend and can predict how cut-offs may move on in the subsequent round. Okay, so stay tuned till the end. This analysis is going to be extremely important for all need PG aspirants who are planning for the round 2 counselling. Okay, before we move to the specific branches, let us first understand the overall behavior of the 2025 round 1 cutoffs so what we have observed this year after you know observing the round 1 cutoff data and comparing it with previous years what we have observed is that consistently high competition for the core clinical specialties second if you go through the college wise cutoff data you will see the trend pattern i mean the in case of the college wise cutoff data the trend pattern is closely aligned with the establishment data from 2024 and 2023 okay so as the trend is following 2023 and 2024's cutoff trend, so we can expect that as we have seen in 2024, this year also in round 2 counselling, cutoff may go lower than the round 1 counselling. Okay, So we'll discuss how much cutoffs can move, what could be the closing rank for the round 2 counselling also in later in this video. So stay tuned. So first we'll discuss about the PG diploma seats. Okay? In PG diploma seats, so the closing rank for diploma in gynecology and obstetrics for undeserved category candidates is 17,097 diploma in child health you can call it diploma in pediatrics also so the closing rank for undeserved category candidates is 17,002 diploma in anesthesiology the closing rank is 22,199 diploma in ophthalmology the closing rank is 35,980 for undeserved category candidates so there are no PG seats which are available for diploma in orthopedics and diploma in otorhinolaryngology that is ENT you can see the category wise cutoff data over here you can take a screenshot for the reference. I will not repeat the category as cut up data verbally of all categories. Otherwise, this video will be unnecessarily long. Okay. So, in case of the PG seats, I mean PG medical seats, that is MD and MS seats. So, in round one, the top seven competitive branches. Okay. If you go through the previous year's cut up data also, this seven branches was among the top seven branches. Okay. This year's also, this top seven competitive branches showed exceptionally strong closing ranks. Okay. In case of MD radiology, the closing rank for undeserved category candidates is 1,886. Okay. In case of MD general medicine, the closing rank is for undeserved category candidates 2,187. MD dermatology, the closing rank is 2,351. MD pediatrics, the closing rank is for undeserved category candidates. 4,659. MD respiratory medicine or pulmonology, the closing rank is 5,132. MS orthopedics, the closing rank is 6,547. For MS general surgery, hundreds of category candidates, the closing rank is 7,121. Okay, so base numbers clearly reflect the consistent demand and the stable competition patterns compared to the previous years. Okay, if you look at the previous years cut up data, let's take an example of any core clinical branch. Let's take an example of the MD radio diagnosis or we can say MD radiology. Okay, so what was the previous year cut up? for MD radiology, MD radio, okay, in round 1, we'll analyze in brief, round 3, for general category candidates, okay, for general category candidates, in 2024, this is the 2024 scot of data, okay, in round 1, the closing rank was 1093, in round 2, the closing rank was 1544, and in round 3, the closing rank was 3500 so from this cut of trend what we can expect is that in core clinical branches like radiology medicine dermatology pediatrics you can see a minimal movement around 500 ranks in subsequent round of counseling you can expect that what we will observe in case of mid clinical branches like uh, ENT psychiatry ophthalmology and anesthesia I will be discussing later so in case of the core clinical branches you can expect cut off can go 500 ranks lower than what you can observe in the round one counseling Okay, so here is the complete category wise cutoff details. You can take a screenshot for your reference. I'm not repeating all the cutoff ranks verbally. Okay, next let's move to the mid tier clinical branches. Okay, so these branches showed wide category wise variation. If you look the category wise cutoff data, you will see these branches shows a wide category wise variation and are expected to shift further in the round two. 
लाइक इन केस ऑफ ओ बी जी ऑब्सटेटिक्स एंड गैनिकोलॉजी द क्लोजिंग रैंक फॉर अनरिजर्व कैटेगरी कैंडिडेट सेवन थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी टू इन केस ऑफ ई एन टी द क्लोजिंग रैंक इज टेन थाउजेंड एंड नाइन्टी थ्री एम डी साइकेट्री द क्लोजिंग रैंक इज इलेवन थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी नाइन इन इन केस ऑफ एम डी रेडियोथेरापी द क्लोजिंग रैंक इज फोर्टीन थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड एंड एट्टी थ्री एंड द डिमांडिंग ब्रांच एम डी एन एस दिशी द क्लोजिंग रैंक इज सेवेंटीन थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी एट फॉर कैटेगरी कैंडिडेट इन राउंड वन इन राउंड टू फॉर दिस ब्रांचेस यू कैन सी ए टिपिकल मूवमेंट ऑफ फाइव हंड्रेड टू थ्री थाउजेंड रैंक सो लेट्स डिस्कस वट हैपन विद दिस ब्रांचेस इन प्रीवियस इयर सो इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर वट हैपन इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर इन केस ऑफ Let's take an clinical branches from here. That is, let's take OBG. Okay. In case of obstetrics and gynecology in 2024, what we have observed is that in round one, the closing rank was six thousand two hundred and fifty-seven. Okay. In round two, the closing rank was eight thousand and twenty-seven, and in round three, the closing rank was sixteen thousand three hundred and thirty. Okay. That is for the another category candidates. Okay, so this year we also can expect a movement of two to three thousand all India rank in the subsequent round of counselling in case of mid-tier clinical branches. Okay, so you can expect that in round two. In round three, cutoff may shift further, as you can see. The cutoff is following totally the previous year's cutoff trend. So this year we can expect this much of movement in the mid-tier clinical branches. Okay, what about the paraclinical branches like pathology, microbiology? pharmacology community medicine psm and forensic medicine okay in case of these branches what you will observe in round 1 counseling the closing rank for md pathology is 29876 for md microbiology 46112 for md pharmacology the closing rank was 52792 in case of md community medicine the closing rank is 53191 and in case of md forensic medicine the closing rank is 8468 para clinical branches showed the expected trends with the moderate to low competition so these branches often open up more opportunities in round 2 and specially during the third round of counseling cut off can go very much lower in the subsequent round of counseling now the pre clinical branches the least competitive branches that are md anatomy md or ms in anatomy md biochemistry md physiology so as like as the previous year this year the least competitive branches are the basic medical sciences subject or the first prof year subjects so these are generally last to fill so in case of md or ms anatomy the closing rank was in round 1 counseling for under the category candidates is 65473 md biochemistry the closing rank is 69759 and in md physiology the closing rank is 94000 944 these are the round one cutoffs are not the final predictors of your chances seat acceptance behavior accreditation demand and state versus all india quota participation significantly impact the round two cutoff data as you can see in the previous years also so if your rank is 15 to 20% below the round one closing rank you can say that below or after the round one closing rank so i think you should definitely keep that option in round two because this much movement is expected in round two counseling okay So thank you for watching the whole video I I don't know how much of you are watching so if you want personal is need pg counseling branch selection support or round 2 strategy planning or round 3 strategy planning you can contact us directly all the best for your city allocation i hope this video was informative to all of you if you found this video was informative to all of you please hit the like button subscribe to our channel and don't forget to share this video with your friends